Today is our last day in Vietnam, but it's our first day exploring the capital city of Hanoi. We spent a few nights passing through Hanoi on our way to Sapa and Ha Long Bay, and something we learned very quickly is that Hanoi has the best food in Vietnam. Look how beautiful! That might be a little controversial, but we say in it. Today we're going to be sharing some of our favorite foods that we've already tried and trying out some new foods as well. We're also going to hit up some of the best attractions in Hanoi that you cannot miss when you visit. <laughs> Let's do it. We're Jill and Hana. Last year, we quit our jobs, sold everything we owned, and moved out of our apartment in Nashville, Tennessee. Now we're setting off on a journey to travel the world for as long as we possibly can. Our first stop is Train Street, where you can literally sit right next to the tracks as a train like barrels down between all of these cafes, and you can just watch it go right in front of you. Cool. We're just walking right on the train track. This feels wrong. <laughs> the train tracks are literally just a few feet away from the front of all these cafes. That's crazy. It's probably gonna be like so loud when it comes through here. Mm -hmm. That's it's gonna cool. shake everything. Yes. We are at Railway Cafe. We've got about 30 minutes before the train shows up, and there's actually not that many people here. I'm no. surprised. I thought it'd be super packed. I thought it was gonna be super busy here because we only got here like 30 minutes before the train's supposed to come through, but we have like all these seats to choose from. <laughs> I got me some peach tea, which is honestly my absolute favorite drink in Vietnam. I like coffee, but like tea hits so much harder and the peach tea in Vietnam is just like so fresh and delicious. It's, it's the best I've ever had in my entire life. Hopefully this one will drink your expectations. Ooh, this one's kind of like a like a lemon peach tea. It's very refreshing. So we tried egg coffee for the first time in Ho Chi Minh City. So this is made with egg yolk, sugar, condensed milk, and coffee. It's super, super thick. I'm nervous. <laughs> I hope it doesn't taste like eggs. I just figured out what this tastes like. This is French toast in a cup. It was really good. It was really more like a dessert to me than a coffee, which is why I don't order it a ton, but I had to have one last egg coffee before we leave. This one is so beautiful. It's like super frothy on top, and it's got like a dusting of sugar or something on there. Look at that foam. They serve it with a spoon if that tells you anything. All right, let's do it. <laughs> That was all foam. I don't think I've gotten down to the coffee yet. Mmm. Oh, the coffee's good. This one I think tastes a little more like coffee and a little less like a bowl of French toast. <laughs> What's happening? The bell just rang and the trains are coming. It's time. This is reminding me whenever I had like a, a senior year photo shoot and I like went on some train tracks with like my violin and like a fancy <laughs> dress and like did a whole photo shoot. I know that photo shoot. Yeah, yeah. That's the last time I was on a train track, I think, so it's reminding me of that. <laughs> oh no, there's a kitty up there! Someone get him away! I think that guy's gonna tell her. Okay, good. It ran away. Okay, good. Phew. Here it that's, goes. that's a big train. Oh my god! now like why they want you to sit so far back yeah, it's literally because it, it sticks right off there. of the tracks very far I, I could have touched it just going like this that's crazy. like yeah that was so cool that was probably a once in a lifetime experience yeah that was really cool the train was bigger than I thought it was gonna be based on the size of the tracks for some reason. Like it literally filled the entire alleyway. Yeah. No thank you. A very cool way to start the day. Indeedy. Mm -hmm. If you wanna make sure you get here at the time that a train is going through, you can just find any of these cafes on WhatsApp and ask them for the train times and they'll message you right back and tell you. I will share the cafe that we're at and their WhatsApp number below. <laughs> Hello, puppies. <laughs> so cute. 
It's lunchtime now and our tummies are hankering for some boon cha. Hanoi has so much character to it. All of the streets are just bustling with life and you can literally just walk out of your hotel from anywhere and find good food right outside. I say that having stayed in three different hotels in Hanoi so far as we've gone back and forth and back and forth. And literally every single time we step outside, we find amazing food. It's bun cha time. <laughs> uh, we'll have one bun cha and we'll have one spring roll. Spring roll, yeah. yeah. Come on. So bun cha is the first food we tried in Hanoi and it's the first thing we had in Vietnam where we were like, holy crap, we can't get enough of this. Literally, like it came to our table and we didn't talk for like 20 minutes straight. <laughs> we just like slurped it down so fast. And to be honest, we've been in Sapa for the last week and the bun cha was really subpar. Just just being honest, we ordered it like three times and it was always kind of mid. So I'm really excited to be back in Hanoi and I hope this one holds up. Boon Cha supposedly originated in Hanoi, so that's probably why it's the best here. Come on. Come on. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too. Time for the tour, because this food actually kind of requires a tour. So you've got like grilled pork and pork sausage in this like super savory, super, super flavor, flavor, flavorful broth. <laughs> it's peppery, it's garlicky, it's porky, like it's just so rich and so good. You've got like some chopped up carrots and some other vegetable in here, I don't know what it is. It comes with this beautiful stacked plate of rice noodles, as well as a whole bowl full of delicious herbs and lettuce. And at the good places, they serve it with a little bowl of garlic and chili peppers on the side, so you can just dump stuff in there and add even more flavor. Something that's been pretty consistent throughout all the food in Vietnam has been tons and tons of fresh herbs, which is really awesome. Look how beautiful. Mm. Is it as good as the other place? Oh, good. Oh my gosh, the pork is so tender. It has the best flavor. Anything with a strong flavor is my favorite, which is why I love this so much. Another thing that's been awesome throughout Vietnam is the fried spring rolls. They don't have like a thick, bready outer coating like they do in America. It's just a very light, thin rice paper coating, but it's fried and it's crispy and it's so delicious. We like to get it with the boon cha as well so we can dip it into the broth and get all of that delicious flavor. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I tried this too. Her spring roll. Oh my god. What she said. Mm. Hello. I was jealous of Hannah's peach tea earlier, so I had to get some. Oh my god. That's actually amazing. Do I need to get one for myself? Try it. There's like pieces of peach coming oh out in the God. straw. That is so fresh. That's like one of the best we've had yet. Are you going to drink that whole thing? Yes. Am I going back to get you one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. That one for myself. All right, now we're both peach teed up. Do you want to go to this place? It's incredible. It's the name <laughs> on the cup. And now we're heading to St. Joseph's Cathedral. Whoa, that is a big old cathedral. It's almost kind of weird to see something so European in this city. Just this big stone gray block <laughs> with some nice French architecture on it for sure. It's very photogenic, just a very different vibe than the rest of the city here. Oh man, that looks so good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this isn't a temple, but we still have to cover our knees, I suppose, to go inside with these handy little skirts. so strange to be in a church again after four months of temples. It 
it's such a different style. But the front area is still extremely detailed in gold, kind of like a lot of the temples we've seen. That was super cool, but I need a lot of fresh air now because it was also very hot in there. What should we do next? Snacks. Snacks. It's snack time. Okay. Come on, Vamanos. Everybody, let's go. <laughs> So we were on our way to a little cafe that made some bon ron, which are like little donut hole things. Once we got there though, we literally could not find the actual place. Google Maps said it was there, we could not find it. So we're gonna go ahead and head to dinner and see if we can find some bon ron along the way. Okay, so there's one food that we haven't tried yet that I still really wanna try here. It's called chaka. And there's not a whole lot of places like really well located right here in the old quarter that have very good reviews or are open. <laughs> Driving in Vietnam is so interesting. Um, but luckily, Grab is super cheap here. So we got a Grab for like $1 to drive us like 12 minutes away and go to a good Chaka restaurant. Chaka, 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 All that good stuff. I love meals that are like an entire spread. Of I know. Things. Everything just always covers the table. And we haven't even gotten to like the pan with the fish part yet. Uh oh. You know how to eat? No, not really. No. Okay. A lot of greens. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So what this is, is catfish that has been marinated in a turmeric based sauce and then grilled. And then it's put into this pan with dill and scallions or green onions, whatever you want to call them. And then there's all of these things on the table that you can put with it. We've got the little rice noodles, spring onions soaked in vinegar, fish sauce, lime, peanuts. There's extra dill and green onion, basil, tons and tons of stuff. We would not have known how to eat it, but she came over and showed us everything and put it together for us. Very nice. And we also got some shrimp sauce, which you could use instead of the fish sauce if you want. It smells a little funky. We'll see. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. The fish has a really nice texture and it pairs really well with all these herbs. I like the addition of the peanuts too. It's just like a really fun little combo of flavors. It works really well together. And it's super healthy. Mm. Mm. The dill flavor is really strong, but I like it. I have not had dill on like anything in Southeast Asia so far, so it's very different. But it just tastes so fresh. Mm. And the fish is very like tender, a little bit crispy pan fried on the outside. Mm. This tastes so good. Mm. Mm. They also very kindly brought us a free fish soup. Looks like it's got some like cabbage or something in it, some pineapple, one little fish nugget. And she said to dip the noodles in it. It's got a very strong smell. It almost smells like vinegary. I don't know, let's see. I need to get more soup in my bite. It's like a whole ladle. I don't know how to eat it. I'm just gonna eat it out of my ladle. This is normal. Mmm, it's yummy. Okay. I don't know how to describe it. Well, it's very fresh. It's got a little bit of like a citrus. I don't know. You try it. It's kind of like almost a little bit of sweet and sour. Like it's got a little bit of citrusy sweetness, maybe just from the pineapple. And then like a little bit of like a vinegary and then like fish flavor, obviously. It's very unique. It's still like refreshing. Good description. They are literally so kind here. They brought us this little like coconut jelly dessert thing. Mm, it smells like coconuts. Mm. Oh man, it's like cold. Super refreshing. I think it's just like straight up coconut water and more of like the coconut cream on top that's like jellified. I don't know, but it's good. That was so delicious. I am so stuffed, but we still have to find some Von Ron. Is that what it's called? I think that's what we're looking for. We saw some like fried donuts earlier and I believe that's what they're called, but 
I don't know anything. So we're looking for little donut holes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have more dessert. <laughs> Got a 17 minute walk back, but it's nice and cool out now that the sun is down. Yes. I'm gonna burn some calories to make some room for these donuts. <laughs> We've walked almost all the way back to our hotel and we are still donutless. Hopefully they didn't all close up shop because we saw some earlier today but we weren't ready to eat them yet and now we can't find any. Where are you donuts? Where we look? The cathedral. <laughs> at night. At night. The cathedral looks so pretty at night with all the lights on it and the dark blue sky behind it. If only they sold donuts in there, then it'd be perfect. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. I really thought we missed our window today. Ooh. What's on this one? Donuts. Uh, chocolate, sugar, no sugar, sesame. Okay. Banana. Just two. That's fine. Okay. That's a nice hole right there. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, it was hard to say, but she told me they were called Bain Don. Or Bain. Bainton, something like that. <laughs> but I don't know if you can really look them up. I think you just have to find them. They're not like labeled anywhere. <laughs> They're just on the street. There's a bunch of different kinds. This is the like sugar glazed one. It feels like there's like an outer coating uh -huh. and like something's moving in it. You know those little like mystery balls that you yeah. used to get as a kid that had like stuff in it? What's in the wonder ball? Yeah. That's kind of what it feels like. Like there's something big inside of it. Oh, a surprise. Oh, interesting, yeah. It has a little bit of like a corn flake flavor, like frosted flakes or something. Oh, yeah. But it's not like your general light airy donut or like cakey donut. It's different. It's like there's some kind of cornmeal or something in there. This one, the same. It's like a little mm. mystery ball. But this one has a chocolate coating. Yum. I think the chocolate's my favorite actually. Oh man, we should have got more chocolate. <laughs> we only got it's okay. Two. They're still good. Your turn. <laughs> Well, that's a wrap on Hanoi and Vietnam. Oh, tomorrow we fly to the Philippines. That is so crazy, but which I'm so excited for. I'm glad we got a chance to like actually explore Hanoi, taste all the food here before we left Vietnam. Yeah. Cause yeah, best food here is in Hanoi. We true said facts, it. True facts. True facts. <laughs> true facts. Also, we can only eat so much food in one day, but I will drop some of the other things we have had in the description that we really like. You can honestly find good food everywhere here. But the one thing. If there's one thing you have to absolutely have and have it as many times as possible, it's boon cha. Yes, best thing we've had. And definitely give some like egg coffee, coconut mm. coffee, peach teas, all that stuff a try too. Oh yeah. The drinks in Vietnam were delicious. I yeah. love them so much. Oh man, we have a super early flight in the morning. So we will see you all then. Good night, stay wiggity. So you've got like grilled pork and pork sauce, sausage. Hello, Mr. Chicken. <laughs> it spins. Well, that's about it. About it. Folks. My thoughts. What is that, Porky Pig? Yeah, it's a Porky Pig from Looney Tunes. <laughs> How about I do it for you? Do what? My thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Our new sign off. <laughs> and stay wiggity.